morning everyone. This is a cabin from Cochamouth, just north of Mazeppa Bay in the southern Transkei. Well, we've had those pilot shoals that came through over the last couple of weeks, uh, which was a very good indicator that we're going to have a wonderful sardine run again. And then we had a bit of a holdup where sardines washed up in Haga Haga, and we heard of a bigger shoal that was off of Sinsa, and uh, the water had warmed up a bit, so that's why I think that that shoal got held up. And now today, there are literally thousands of birds out in front of me. I'm also seeing lots of predator activity, the whales breaching, and I wouldn't say it's a super pot of dolphins, but plenty, plenty dolphin activity. But I'm talking thousands of birds stretched over probably a two kilometer stretch. Lots of separate diving action. So what I'm going to say now is that this is a much larger shoal. This just isn't a, a little pilot shoal fractured off. This is something big. And being end of May, this is extremely unusual. But this is big, chaps, coming through here now. Unfortunately, my iPhone camera doesn't do much justice to action that's a couple kilometers out. Same as taking a full moon photo and all you see is a little yellow dot in the sky. But the evidence is here right in front of me. It's a, a very, very big shoal movement. I mean, this is on par with like the mother load that comes once a year. And it's way too early for the mother load. Unless it is the mother load. I don't know. But yeah, all I can say is I'm actually sitting here flabbergasted by the amount of activity and feeding going on. I mean, I can't even reiterate it more. Thousands and thousands of gannets. Big rafts everywhere where they've gorged themselves full and just others taking to the wing and diving. It's just, you know, 20, 30 peeling off at a time, boiling the water. So, yeah, this is good. This is good. Uh, let's see how fast they move. This is the kind of shoal that definitely will reach KZN. So, yeah, keep your fingers crossed. Port St. John's is the next port of call. There's not much between here and there. There is Nabaha where there's some cottages, but it's generally a quiet area. So the next major sighting and confirm, confirmation of this shoal is going to be Port St. John's Coffee Bay area. And that, depending on how fast they move, let's say we give them five to six days to get to Port St. John's. But this is a big one. Cool buzz. Over and out. I'll keep you updated. Cheers.